I'm setting the example. And what I've done is going to be puzzled over and studied and fun forever. Prepare for the verbal hey, what's up, YouTube? Boy OD here, and I'm going to show you how to set up the add on power auras. Uh, this add on is very helpful. It has made me able to manage my buffs and just watch about everything that's going on. It just makes it so much easier with symbols. Um, Mage Nuggets do it does have a similar uh, like buff watcher and proc watcher, but one huge part is they're missing an invoker's energy. They have it, but the bar is so small and you can't change the scale of it. I don't know why they would do that. Beats me, but power ores just stomps them and <laughs> by a long run. So let's start off with downloading the add-on. Right now, Power Ores is, is in uh, the Curse Client if you search it, but if you read the description, it does not have uh, an official build out. If you do download it, it will not work. Uh, where you're going to have to download it off of right now is WoW Interface. I will put that link in the description. That is what I'm using right now. It's the unofficial build, but it works exactly the same. So you're going to have to download that, uh, drop it in your add ons folder, in your World of Warcraft folder and uh, it should work perfectly so once you get that done you're gonna log in type slash power it's gonna look a little confusing but we're gonna get through it so to start off we'll just do a simple mage buff arcane brilliance you're gonna hit new you're gonna pick a texture that you like has everything from horde symbol to um, let's see mario mushrooms to every blizzard uh, spell proc so let's just grab something Easy and visible. Let's see if we can get a horde symbol. So, you change uh, the opacity. Symmetry rotates it. Deformation just messes it up. So, let's fuck the horde symbol. Let's mess it all up. And change the position somewhere, uh, not in the middle of your screen, but you want it visible. So, then we're going to go to the bottom part. Looks a little confusing, but it's pretty simple. Once we're done, you're going to set it to buff. You're going to type in Dalaran Brilliance or whatever simple buff that you're trying to track. Leave everything how it is. Do not touch or check off anything. You're going to exit out. Let's apply our buff and see what happens. What do you know? A horde symbol. So, take it off. It goes away. So, let's move on to something a little bit more uh, in depth. One of the... Uh, one of the things that I've taken a liking to with this add-on is how it watch my watches my buff in uh, Invoker's Energy. I get it after completing an evocation. As you see, right as I complete it, my red mushroom turns into a green one, and it has a timer. Um, don't know why it counts up. Obviously, it'd be a lot better if it counts down. Like I said, this is the unofficial build. I'm sure when they come out with the official, a lot of things are going to change. But anyway, let's show you how to set that up. You're going to hit new. Let's just grab uh, the Mario mushrooms. They're simple. So you're going to grab the red one. You're going to type in your buff. Invokers energy. This works really well with um, a warrior's berserker raid. Just all I can think of off the top of my head. So oh, let's set it over out of the middle of our screen. Change all your settings to your liking. And we are going to highlight the buff and hit copy. Put it on the same page, and you're going to have an exact copy of what we just made. All we're going to do now is change the symbol to a green mushroom. Now, you're going to have Invoker's Energy already typed up. You're going to leave everything the same. Going to go back to the red one. You're going to check off one thing, invert. Invert is what shows the red one when uh, you do not have the buff applied. As you see, when we exit out, the green one disappears and the red one shows. So we're gonna apply our buff. As soon as it finishes channeling, they're both gonna turn green. What do you know? So that's how to set up a simple, uh, dude, you don't have your buff active. So that has been a huge help for me. I'm really bad with uh, managing stuff like that, so. I mean, I got a big Mario mushroom in, in my middle of my screen half the time telling me if it's red, I need to apply a buff. So, that's a huge help. 
let's move on to um I'm gonna show you an example of what I have set up here that you can make um five different symbols for example for what I have to make a complete symbol I'll show you a test real quick of what it looks like and now I'm gonna show you a clip of it in action okay so right off the start I'm gonna pre-pot so one of the parts is instantly gonna light up another is gonna light up for my trinket and I used my other trinket so that's gonna light up um, we do get a fourth for my cloak enchant and but we do not get the weapon enchant as you see as the buffs drop off so do the parts of the circle so it's just nice to know that when that circles lit up you're gonna be putting out some extra damage so I'm gonna show you how to set that up now alright guys so really quick to wrap up this video I'm gonna show you how to set up um, uh, multiple buffs that will make one full symbol when they are all active so once again we're gonna open up power auras I'm gonna start on a fresh page just to make it a little bit easier you guys can start on your page one um, so we're gonna start to new and we're gonna find there are multiple types of symbols that go with each other for example here's the uh, Gears of War cog you got one two three four uh, I just I can't tell the difference between one two and three so I'm not gonna use that one um, Let's see, we'll use, yeah, these three. These three will work perfect. All right, so we'll start with the first one. Make it a little, oh, completely fucked that up, didn't I? Uh, let's see if I can find that again. Right there, all right. So we're gonna make the size a little bit bigger. Mess with the positioning. We'll put this one in the middle of our screen. I wouldn't mind seeing something that small. All right, so we'll make this one something simple. Dalaran. Brilliance. So we're going to X out of that, highlight it, copy it, page two, open it up, and you're just going to hit the next symbol. See how that perfectly lines up? Because it takes all of the other positions when you copy it. So I'm going to change it to another buff, which is going to be my trinket, flash freeze. And then we're going to do the same thing again, highlight it, copy it, page two, and move to the next symbol and change it to another buff um only one i can think of off the top of my head is invoker's energy so we'll have to do that one again and let's test it all out let's do dalar and brilliance let's do invoker's energy and let's do our trinket and we have a full half circle if that makes any sense so um, I hope this guide helped set up your power wars. You know, this is just for the basics, nothing special. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and check back for more videos. Thanks, guys.